Hello there guys and welcome back to another Forza Horizon 4 video on my channel. So in today's video I'm going to be taking you through how you can easily complete the spring season of series 37 on Forza Horizon 4 uh, so that you can get all the rewards that you're wanting uh, and complete it to the best that you can or whatever you're wanting to complete this season. Uh, so as usual I'll show you everything in the season, it's not clickbait or anything, I will show you how to do everything, I'll suggest cards for the championship, show you how to do the stunts etc. Um, and it will be a full guide on the season as I usually do. Now I am a bit disoriented <sighs> and he can't speak again. I'm a bit disorientated today so if I keep um, forgetting what I'm meant to be saying then that is why. Um, it's absolutely boiling in here, um, ridiculous heat today um, and it's just completely throwing me off so yeah if I say something wrong and that is exactly why and do not worry um, but yeah, just just to warn you. Um, so 50% this season then gets you a backstage pass, which you can spend on any car you want in the backstage, providing that you haven't already bought it, because you can only buy each car once in the backstage. Um, but there's plenty of cars up for grabs in there. And then 80% gets you the Ferrari 250 Testa Rossa. Quite a nice car, never really driven it, but I guess it'd be alright for classic racer championships, as we'll probably be getting a couple of them with it being after this season. Um, it'll fall back to like the uh, mixtape of playlists of the best events. Well, the best events. Um, as they said, so this is like the last proper season, although most of the stuff's repeated anyway, which they haven't been doing for quite a while, but hey ho, we'll go with it. <laughs> so then if you want, if you complete 80%, then you'll be on for 100% to be absolutely perfect, um, but for that you will need to complete all of the dailies, um, otherwise you'll only be up to 93%. Um, so if you haven't already unlocked it, 80% um, um, of the whole series is the Chevy Camaro or IROC Z from 1990. The reason why I haven't unlocked it is because I've missed quite a few dailies. I missed one there, I missed three there, and I missed five there. Um, so if you'd completed all the seasons to 100% or like 99%, then you would have 80% by now. But if not, you'll have the chance to unlock it. And if you haven't even got 50% yet, you'll get you another backstage pass of the whole series. So that's two up for grabs this season if you haven't already got 50% of the whole series yet. So the photo challenge then, hashtag muddy good time, take a photo of any extreme off-road car at the mud at the mud kickers adventure park. So we've had this one a few times before, so getting any extreme off-road vehicle like it says, so trail cat, baja truck, um, the mini thing, um, anything like that, and then go to mud kickers, which is here, big sign, this dude's here. And just go anywhere within like these red um, kind of road areas where there's mud and stuff and take a picture make sure your car and a bit of the mud's in it and then that will have it completed. You might, e it might even count if you're on the road next to it here and you get it in the background. I'm not really sure, but just to be safe, go on one of these roads here actually in at the Mud Kickers Adventure Park. So that'll get you 3% and a super wheel spin. The Force on Shot backstage and Super 7 um, I usually do in the pinned comment and last week I decided to do it in the video um, but this week I'm going to go back to the pinned comment again because I feel like I will remember today um, but hopefully I do um, so for them you can check the pinned comment below um, once I've remembered to do it. For the weekly Falls on challenge, Everyday Hero in your retro saloon, um, I made a video last night, like I usually do on a Wednesday, doing the Falls Thon. Um, so I'll link to that in the end screen. But you can also find it on my channel in the playlist section, and the playlist is called Seasonal Falls Thons. It's a pretty easy Falls Thon actually, and it'll get you 15% towards the season. Um, daily Falls Thon challenges they appear um, once every day at 3:30 p.m. GMT. That is the time that the season changes over, so we do that every day, and you get 72 hours to complete them. So that's three whole days. Um, so some of them even like, overlap into the next season. So do not worry about completing them straight away. You can go on like on the third day and complete three, um, and then that will still count. Um, they're usually quite easy as well, so you shouldn't really have any problems, but if you do, then just let me know. Um, the other seasonal rewards this week then, for, so for the trial, you'll get yourself a Lycan Hypersport. Pretty sure that's an auto-show vehicle, but 
Oh well, we guess we'll take it. For the games, you'll get to the Ford Fiesta RS, even if you lose, because remember, in games you do not have to win. Even finishing second out of the two teams gets you the prize. Again, I believe this is in the auto show, but... I don't know, just... Whatever. <laughs> and for the three stunts, as usual, you'll get a super wheel spin. For retro Hoonigan attack, you'll get this Hoonigan V... God, I can't speak again. Hoonigan Mustang Hoonicorn V2. Really nice drift car, drag car, whatever you want it to be. Absolute monster of a car that is. Again, I don't think that one is in the auto. Oh, oh, I don't think that one is in the auto show actually. I think the normal Hoonicorn is, but that one isn't, so it's a really nice car. Is that a Supra? We'll get you a Toyota Supra from 1992. And so I think, is that the Mark III, if I'm right? Yeah, I think it is. Um, I'm not really that big on Supras, but I think that's the Mark III. Um, so quite a nice car as well. Uh, that is going to be part of my A to Z series, I think. Or is on my list to tune anyway. And then the Saloon Returns will get you, this, get you the Maserati Ghibli from 14. Um, again, quite a nice car, actually. Um, so they're all the rewards for this week. The monthly rivals and the online adventure then, they can be completed any of the four seasons. If you haven't completed them yet, this is the last opportunity you'll get to complete them, but you have got all week um, because these, whenever they're completed, will apply to all four seasons, like I said. So if you completed them in summer, then they'll be um, you'll start from 21% each season. The only reason I'm on 22 is because I accidentally completed one of the dailies when I was um, when I just came on before. Uh, but you'll start from 21% each season if you complete them later on in winter or spring it'll add any percentage on that you've missed so if you didn't quite get 80% in one of the seasons complete these and you'll get it uh, as long as you completed the rest of them and some monthly rivals then is in the Vule 05 RR that was the last ever car that we added to Horizon 4 back in summer and you just need to drive that around the Greedale club circuit without hitting anything, rewinding or missing checkpoints. If it's got a flag next to it, then that means um, that the lap doesn't count. Just go around and get a lap that does count and that hasn't got an exclamation mark next to it and that will complete it. So basically a clean lap. You do not need to beat your rival. You do not... You, oh God, I can't speak. You do not need to set a fast time. It's just the clean bit that counts in the monthly rivals. And then in online adventure, if you haven't qualified for ranked adventure yet, then you need to play the quick play adventure. Racing, um, team racing is the fastest, uh, and reach tier three in that category. Then it'll want ranked adventure, and then play one ranked adventure again. Team racing will be fastest, and that will complete it. If that doesn't really make sense, then let me know in the comments, and I can explain it, explain it a bit better. Right, let's get on to the stunts then. So the really easy again this week, with it being spring, there's no snow or anything bit of moisture on the roads but that won't be any problem really hopefully for us um, so I'll be doing all the stunts in the malls though this week so the share codes in the description as usual as well as uh, oh god I can't speak as well as any other share codes um, in the video um, so a leap of faith in design then 137 meters so that is uh, 15.1 meters more than the usual three star objective really easy one this you literally can't even fail to get three stars on this one it's that easy and with the moors like, you'll be rocking nearly 200 meters without even breaking a sweat so we're going to start just um, by the road here and basically all you need to do um, is it hasn't got dirt tires on it this but it's, um, it's all right just literally hit the ramp and then that's probably going to fail me yeah so if you land and hit a house it can end up failing you um, but hopefully <laughs> we'll be able to do it second time lucky and no we're not so yeah you do have to jump quite a bit to the right because it is slightly annoying there we go oh that's too much to the right now yep that's too much to the right God, we can't win, can we? We can't win today, Forza. Um, yeah, okay, fair enough. No. Nope. Uh, yeah, so it's proven to be slightly annoying, but that's probably just because I'm not fully awake today. But when you do it, you'll have absolutely no problem whatsoever. I can guarantee it. Why did that not trigger? And now Forza is being cheaty. 
Oh, there we go, 189 meters. So yes, like I said, very easy. Definitely not annoying. Um, but yeah, what if you're uh, not dozy like me, then it'll be really easy for you. So that's that one completed then. Let's move on to the speed trap which is called Lake Hurst. We haven't had this one in a while actually, so that's quite good. So you need 195 mile an hour, which is five mile an hour more than usual to reach that objective. Again, a really easy one, even going um, this way, you'll be absolutely fine. But I'm just gonna start at this um, crossroad here, and then we're just gonna absolutely full send it down the hill. You really don't need this much run up, but just to be sure I am, um, so that I don't have to do it multiple times like I did with the danger sign. And then this is the Xbox One loading times. Not too bad, actually. Right, so I'm going to set off. And we're just going to absolutely send it again in the Mosler. That's for all the three stunts today. No Hoonigan or Jeep Trail Cat required, as they are all on road, technically. There you go, 245 mile an hour. So we cleared that by about 50 mile an hour there, so really, really easy. Now we can move on to the speed zone then, which is up um, round by Arthur Seat in Edinburgh. So Queen's Drive, 133 mile an hour required. That's 13 mile an hour more than the usual three side objective. It's again a really easy one because you can wall ride this last corner, providing that you start and you go this way. If you go this way, you will have to brake. Therefore, we are going to start round here. Um, and as long as you don't flip your car or whatever, you'll be absolutely fine. Uh, you do need to be a bit careful on the first corner, but apart from that, you'll be absolutely fine, like I said. Again, the Mosla for this one, but all the cars you can use for this week's stunts, um, well, anything really fast. The Hoonigan RS200 will do the danger sign, so will the Trail Cat, the Bowler, the Ferrari Evo, the Shelby Monaco, but I hate it. Um, same for the Speed Trap, the Mosla, the Ferrari, the Shelby, Koenigseggs, Lamborghinis, anything that can do about 200 mile an hour. And then for the speed zone, anything that's got a bit of grip and speed, CCGT, anything like that will do you fine. So we're just going to go around. Again, you can wall ride this last corner. And there you go, 158 mile an hour, and that's a new PB. Shows how, how little I've done this one. Anyway, so yes, there you go. That is the three stunts completed. Really, really easy today. Um, and just, they shouldn't really cast you any problems. Right, let's move on to the championship suggestions then. So as usual, I'll suggest um, the best cars to get these championships games and trial completed. Um, and I'll, I've got tunes for all of them. Um, I've selected two or three as usual. I think I'll do the best with my tunes on them. And I've put the codes for them in the description. Any others, I'll show them on screen. You can find them by my gamer tag. Um, right, so we'll start then with the trial. So the trial is down here, I believe. Yep. Um, so it's street scene. Uh, it's all you can street and it's S2 hypercars. Um, so we've had S2 hypercars or things like that quite a lot recently, but I guess it's not all bad. Um, but street scene, you will have the AI um, causing you problems, getting in your way, etc. But hopefully, you should be alright. Um, so with the trial, as usual, you're racing in a co op team, so don't ram your teammates, even if they ram you, they're just dumb. They don't know how to drive. Uh, if it's in the third race and you won the first two races, then feel free by all uh, means because you've already won technically. Um, but if it means that you're going to cost a win because you're taking them out the race, then don't do it. But anyway, that's basically to sum it up. So if we go into the garage then, S2 hypercars. Um, so Bugattis are not really that good at turning in my opinion so I wouldn't recommend that you use them um, this is alright, the ID Zaruna I redid the tune the other day and that's actually coming up in a, in a video in a couple of days so that's actually a really good one but I haven't selected it as one of my top ones um, because I haven't really tested it much yet um, the Koenigsegg Aguera, that's a winter tune, um, so it only it has snow tyres on it instead of race tyres, but that'll be, still be really good. And 1400 horsepower really goes on the straights, so it's a really good one. Um, I don't think I've got many Lamborghinis, apart from the Veneno, which is one of my top ones, because it's really grippy and really fast. 
Um, it's just an absolute god, um, to be honest. So I'd highly recommend you do get that one. It's quite expensive, but it's been released quite a lot. It was in the Super 7 only a few weeks ago. So yeah, highly recommend you use that if you can. The Lego Center, if you have Lego Speed Champions expansion, and then feel free to use that my S2 tune for that one. It's not going to be the best, but it is still really good. And um, the Speed Tail, I used that the other week um, for one of them. It's my drag build, which does not to 60 mile an hour in 0.7 seconds. Really good on the straight, surprisingly grippy in the corners actually. Uh, so if you want to challenge yourself, use that one. The Noble M600 is really good on the straight and in the corners. Absolutely amazing for such a a kind of old and unexpected car, in my opinion. Um, the Porsche 918 Spider, I tuned that one last week for port and Porsches. Um, really, really quick and really grippy. I, made, uh, I posted the gameplay of port and Porsches the other day as well, if you want to check that out. In fact, it was yesterday. Um, and then finally, the Zenvo TSRS, another really grippy car, so feel free to use that one as well. My mic keeps dropping down. He's tightening up a bit. Right, the games. So it's at the quarry. Um, so remember, you don't have to win games. So even if you're losing, don't rage quit. There's no points. Just being a sore loser. So just stay in and see it through and just have a bit of fun. Um, so you need an S1 Rally Monster. So it'd be quite good actually in the quarry for games. Um, so you don't need a particularly competitive car because obviously you don't have to win. But if you want to have a bit of fun, um, and get some good games kind of entertainment then I got a few cars for you so you've got the Audi Quattro S1 that's not the standard Audi Quattro it's the like souped up one and um, so that's really good as well it lacks a bit in first gear acceleration but once you get going it's all right um, the Capri Force Edition if you have it then feel free to use it this is the car you win and you can use the car you win if you have it tuned because it's actually quite good. Lacks in top speed, but in games you don't need top speed. And the Hoonigan RS200, um, really good car. I think that one's tuned by Waz News. Um, so I'll put share code for that in the description as usual. Um, what else have we got? That one's just rubbish. This one, if you have car pass, I really like this one. It's really, really good and the MG Metro as you can see I've got quite a lot of these tuned to be honest that one's quite good the Opel Manta on rally suspension that one's really really good um, the Peugeot 207 very good um, the Subaru I've got an S1 tuned for that as well there's really a broad range of cars you can take um, but I'd say the best one's Hoonigan RS200 and the Opel Manta but it's, it's really up to you um, to be honest uh, whoops right championships then so you need to be on at least highly skilled driver tasks for the championships I usually do the one unbeatable because they're usually fine and um, if you are struggling go down to highly skilled but no lower or you won't get the top rewards um, so start with this one then this is dirt racing uh, the saloon returns and you need an A class super saloon so quite good actually I like A class and I like super saloon so it's a good match and I also like dirt racing Right, so if we go down to Super Saloons, which is there, I've gone past it. Right, so you've got the rear wheel drive Alpha Julia because well, you can't make it all wheel drive in A class. Not the best, but if you want to challenge yourself, then feel free. And um, the Audi RS6 from 2009, very good on top speed, so I highly recommend you use that one. The RS7 is one of my fan favourites for A class, um, especially Super Saloon races because it's got rally suspension and it's really fast and grippy. Um, what else have we got? That's not a proper tune, it's on drift suspension. <laughs> um, you got the Cadillac Limousine with the Viper V10, really really good that one. Um, completely OP and you can slide it around to hog up the whole of the road. And the Infinity Q50, I really like that one as well. Jag Jaguar XFRS, very nice as well. Um, what else have we got? That's it. Well, that one's absolutely rubbish. Um, but yeah, I'd probably say RS7, Cadillac or Infinity because they're really, really good cars. But whichever you want is up to you. The majority of Super Saloons are actually really good anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, right, what next? Right, so we've got another street scene one. Retro Unicorn Attack and you need a B-Class Retro Sport car. 
If we go to retro sports cars, there. Luckily, they're all near the top this week. Um, right, what have we got then? Not too many options that I've got tuned. I've got a couple in A class as well. Um, the Maserati 7 from 1990, that one's really good on the straights with the turbo rally in it, and really cheap option as well. Um, not sure how good it is because I haven't used it for a while, but it should be alright. Um, what else have we got? Yeah, I really haven't got much here. Oh, we're back to the Toyota. So I've got Toyota Supra from 98, virtually stock, but it's actually really good, to be fair. Um, and yeah, that's all I've got tuned, but there's plenty more to choose from, and there's a lovely community of tuners out there that you can download from, but the Supra is definitely good for that one. And then finally for the championships, another street scene. And you need a B-Class Toyota for is that a Supra? Well actually yes it is because we're going to be using a Supra. The same Supra I've just showed you. So that's quite handy actually. So you've got the 1998 Supra again, same tune. Um, and, then if you, and then if you want to use a rally kind of car you've got the 94 Toyota Celica. Also a really nice car. And you've also got the 92 Celica. That's really nice as well. Um, and you've got the Toyota Land Cruiser AT37, which isn't the fastest, but will do you alright as well. But I'd definitely say the Supra and the 94 Celica will be the best there. Well, that is it, guys. So thank you for watching today's video. If I have missed anything, if I haven't explained anything properly because I'm a bit do-lally, then let me know in the comment section as well as any other questions that you have. And do, don't forget to check the description for the timestamps back to each chapter of... Um, the video and also uh, codes for the tunes and any other information i really can't speak today i do apologize and um, so hopefully i'll see you in the next couple of days carrying on my a to z series we might be able to fit in the competition live stream um in the next couple of days um and then we'll see what happens um so i don't think i'll be here next week um because i'm going away but then I'll be back for autumn and um, but there's loads of awesome people out there that do videos the same as me um, and before I go away I'll link to a couple of them so that you've got um, some content to look at and it'll be similar to mine um, but I'm not sure whether it's um, <laughs> on the same lines as mine as how I explain it but hopefully it'll be alright so thank you so much for watching if you did enjoy give it a like subscribe to the channel and turn notifications on we're so close to the 200 subscribers it is absolutely unreal guys so thank you so much for all the support uh, any questions like i said let me know and i'll see you all later bye